Um, are you originally from the area that you live in now in Germany? Yes, I, uh, I'm, I'm born here in the northern parts of Germany and this formed my vision. Uh, you know, it's very flat here and yep. uh, we have lots of water around us. And this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, special for me and uh, I will get bored if I would live without water and without far sight. Do you sail or do you get out of the water very often? Um, no, um, I do some canoeing earlier. In my uh, when I was younger, I'm, I was into fishing, mm. and uh, yeah, I. Uh, you any good at it? Oh, I, I'm not stuffed. <laughs> uh, excellent. We'll have to exchange some uh, some fish uh, some some recipes sometime. I grew up fishing. Uh, my family had a small boat that we uh, used to take offshore every Saturday and fish. And uh, I remember one time when I was a, a, a small kid, we started fishing when I was about five years old. I'd go out every weekend. And um, one of my one of our neighbors commented to my dad how lucky we were that we had fresh fish all the time. And he said, well, yeah, but we pay about $100 a pound for the uh, for the privilege of it between gas and the boat and all the effort and whatnot. So, eh. I've grown up fishing. In fact, I was out last weekend wetting a hook. Do you get, do you get much opportunity to fish now or... No, uh, since uh, I'm married and uh, I have a four-year-old now, uh, there's not enough time to do the fishing. But I, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that when my son is a little bit older, we will go on with the fishing. Is that what started your 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 photography? Seems to be focused on the outdoors. Is that what started your love of the outdoors? Was was fishing? Yeah, I think there are similarities in uh, enjoying nature and staying outside of the water. So. I think this built up uh, visions. What are you eating there? Split pea soup. Oh, that's nice. You cooked it by yourself. I did. Okay, we switched the interview. You are the guy who's asking questions. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. Um, so how, when you remember the first photograph that you took, what was the first first thing that you remember about photography? <sighs> that's a tough question. Um. When I was, I think, about four or five years old, my uh, my father gave me a very old Kodak uh, Instamatic, and uh, I played around with it a lot. And uh, yeah, I think this is the first remember or the first uh, memory I have um, about photography. What's your uh, what's your favorite subject to photograph? That's a tough question, but I think at the moment landscapes and uh, especially seascapes, seascapes are um, are fitting my vision. You know, I think uh, when you want to really become an artist, you you have to build up a very good vision and a personal vision, and uh, not being a copycat and uh, trying to duplicate photos from others. You. Uh, you need a personal theme, and this personal theme will help you going on and developing yourself. Have you found anything here in, in Google Plus that um, that has moved your, your craft along or inspired you or, or it broadened your horizons and what you do? Believe it or not, I met uh, some uh, amateurs, photographers, that, uh, that told me some, oh, let us call them recipes in Photoshop. And I was very inspired uh, about uh, these recipes, and uh, I memorized them. And uh, I feel a little bit of shame because I go into this uh, Google Hangout and thought, oh, I'm the one who told others to do Photoshop. And uh, this changed my mind about uh, Hangouts and about sharing. And I think this is not the only thing I, uh, I receive on staying in on Google Plus. I think Google Plus is a great place on finding good information and uh, I use social media especially for finding information but also for sending and sharing. I like sharing. So I don't have uh, any benefit at the moment uh, to uh, getting some attention on uh, Google Plus because uh, my clients and uh, my clients are more into service photography on local basis, 
and in, especially in northern Germany. And uh, I wouldn't get these clients on social media. So I'm here as a free and private person willing to share and uh, yeah, to receive uh, great information about photography. Do you see any potential for uh, expanding your business using this, this medium? Or do you, if, if not for yourself, do you see the possibility for other photographers? I think it could be. If, if your clients, it depends on who your clients are and if you are, are willing to share information for your clients. Um, when your clients are other photographers, I think this is a great place to get context to them. For especially if you if you're having uh, workshops or selling books or prints, um, Google Plus will will work fine because it's easy to get context to them and it's easy to spread visual information. You know this is uh, this is lacking in 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 other in other social communities, and uh, I found out that. Uh, that uh, Twitter, for example, is a very, very open system and it's, uh, it's working fine for me and it's easy to get context to other persons and to other people. But it's not um, good in sharing visual information and it's not, it's, it's, it's not a visual media. And right. fa Facebook, Facebook um, is the other social social media community if you want to call it like this and uh, Facebook is a very very closed and uh, yeah I would say a very ill s system and uh, Facebook is uh, is good in uh, um, forcing you in information that Facebook thought it's good for you and it's not good in helping you finding informations by your own and choosing before between informations you want to use and you want not to use and uh, it's also not good in making contacts and uh, I think this is the reason why they are not so good for photographers and there are these other communities let them call them photography communities like uh, Flickr and Photonet yeah. and uh, I think this these are different uh, communities and they are not uh, they are more closed and they're more about photography and uh, they have one big disadvantage they they are not interested in um, letting you out they want to keep you in their systems and uh, it's very hard to get content from outside into these systems right. and uh, uh, it's very hard to share information with people who are not photographers. You know, right. Google Plus is very good in um, in uh, in sharing information with other people who are who have maybe not your profession. And uh, there were lots of talks in, especially in Germany, because um, uh, there are there are two for especially two photographers that uh, climb up uh, the top ten very fast and. Uh, uh, um, the the usual social media guys uh, uh, won't get so many contacts and uh, there was a discussion about if uh, Google Plus is the new photography community and I think this is this is not right but I think Google Plus is good in helping other people finding uh, information about photography if they are very, very really interested in photography and although they are not uh, really taking photos and I met lots of people on Google Plus that uh, that told me that uh, because they they saw my photos and they saw the content I'm sharing uh, to try this out or to try out taking more photos and this is great this is very very great uh, to see this community community growing so clearly it's 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 advantageous to the you're like an ambassador to to the sport or to the industry of photography that, that people or the hobby of photography I guess you call it um, in that sense I, were you surprised by the uh, the number of followers that you've been able to accumulate yes I am who was more who, who is more surprised, you or your wife? I think my wife is not interested in Google Plus because she is uh, 
more hanging out on Facebook. She's using uh, social media in a different way. Uh, I prefer sharing very private information, uh, especially digital private information, over email and over chat with my friends, with my closest friends. And I'm not so into sharing private information, uh, really, really private information, you know, uh, on, uh, on social media. So right. I'm not interested in this. I'm more interested in uh, finding informations about photography and change, uh, uh, exchanging informations about photography. And uh, yeah, I'm a photographer. Do you have a uh, favorite photographer or two this week in, in Google Plus that you like that maybe someone hasn't heard of? Oh, I'm not good in names. I must have a look at, but uh, this will uh, cut down the... Um, just why, why don't you... Uh, you can get back to me on that later. If you've got a, a list of a couple people that you think are maybe yet undiscovered that, I, that are... I will, I will you... tell you. I will tell you which... which, which, who, which, which I found very great. Of course, Trey Radcliffe. And uh, I found him not only great because he's a, he's a great photographer and he's doing great thing with HDR. I found him very great because he is so so great in sharing. And uh, I haven't been aware about him. Um, I, I, I know him. I know him na his name. But I uh, haven't been aware about how he's changing content and information here. And I was uh, very lucky to... Um, get into some of these hangouts and not only one I, I think I've, I've been in, in four hangouts with him and uh, this is very great to get uh, contact to to such a great photographer and I think I would not be able before Google Plus do you use hangout canopy when you're looking for hangouts uh, yes this is a, this is a small tool this is an umbrella on the on my menu bar right yeah, <laughs> don't don't uh, ask me how I get this. Um, I I was sent the link to this um, plug in, yeah, and I was a, and yeah. I was told that this is um, this is not public. So uh, I don't yeah, know. It's a loaded question. It's a loaded question because I gave it to you about a month ago. I, was I know one of the sixteen thousand followers must be you. It was, it was it was one of the first hangouts. No, I'm had, using uh, it very often and. Uh, all time when I'm a little bit bored at home, and this is very, very often, um, I will use uh, this tool. But you, you haven't built it, haven't you? What's that? You haven't built it. You haven't programmed it. No, I work with the guys that, that built it. I don't actually do any programming on that, say, that piece, but I've helped. Please say thank you to them. That's a great tool, and I would recommend it if it's public. It is. Uh, they turn they turn it on and off to sort of regulate how many people get into the server, uh, because it's um, you know they don't want to overwhelm their server with with everyone joining. So um, one of the features that's coming out in the new release is kind of interesting. It allows you to watch or follow people in Hangouts. So when someone is interesting that you might want to join a Hangout with, excuse me, when they open up a Hangout, it'll put a little pop up on your screen and you can join the Hangout, which gives you. Um, Instead of having to look constantly at the at the list to see who might be in there, uh, that's kind of nice. It gives you a notification. Um, what do you use for your uh, your basic work rig uh, for your your camera and your lenses? How many lenses do you typically uh, take to the field with you, or what's your what's your basic kit look like? Um, it depends on how I'm working or on which topic I'm working. For landscape photography, um, I'm working uh, with prime lenses uh, most of the time, wide angle lenses. And uh, sometimes with uh, with uh, yeah with this um, seventy two hundred millimeters um, L two point eight uh, IS lens and uh, yeah most of the time with uh, lots of filter I'm a filter guy I love filter and I'm not the guy who's uh, using too much Photoshop the reason why is uh, is very easy um, I like to stay outside in nature. And uh, I try to get so, as time as as I can, or um, as much time I can I can uh, spend outside the nature. And uh, yeah, I I prefer when I'm at home. I prefer staying uh, with my family and spending time with them. 
Yeah, okay, it's, it's service photography, sorry. Service photography, especially when I'm doing uh, uh, portraits of uh, politicians or uh, of uh, weddings. Um, I think this is, uh, at the moment, uh, the topic I'm, I'm very specialized in. Um, I'm using, most of the time, prime lenses. And uh, I think the most used lens is the 85 1.4 from Canon, of course and um, the 35 millimeters 1.4 and uh, sometimes i'm using the 24 1.4 from canon of course i think i have uh, i think i have all the l lenses from um 24 millimeters up to 135. Mm -hmm. what um for someone who's just getting into photography, uh, how would you suggest they use this space, use Google Plus, in order to uh, improve not just their skill, but but to uh, maybe explore different different areas of photography? Um, I think um, it depends on on what what you're into. Google Plus. If you want to use it as a private person and uh, uh, want to to have some nice time on Google Plus? I think do what you want and follow the people you like, and uh, try to share different content and uh, see what hap what's happening. And uh, when you're when you are using it in a professional way, I think this uh, strategy of uh, following and uh, being back followed could be a starting point, but uh, I think the better way is uh, to to share good content and uh, help uh, other people finding good content. And uh, this is uh, because uh, Google Plus will is good in in sharing this and uh, helping you be being find. And that in the space that most of your clients are largely local, have you had any uh, any uh, consulting or job offers in this space uh, from anyone to to ask you about your work or to engage you professionally? No, I have never get a client in a direct way out of social media. I think I have only one um, one uh, portrait session over Facebook, but I'm not sure. But uh, most of the time, people uh, uh, get me known um, over over yeah over social media, and uh, especially the local basis. Uh, the local lo the local personal network is more effective. So I I think I'm here because I enjoy sharing and enjoy receiving good information. And um, yeah, getting context to people and not only to photographers. I made uh, great artists and great musicians that played good music. And uh, yeah. No. So, do you have any idea where you rank uh, in Germany on Google Plus? I know uh, a while back you were, I think, number four or something like that. Are you are you uh, still up there in the top tier? Or? Today I reached number one. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? It's it's wonderful. Yeah, it's great. it's absolutely it's stunning. It's interesting. Um, do you, well? There's the next question. So, do you feel like you have um, a responsibility or a voice or a, I mean, essentially, you're you're an ambassador by by vote. I mean, so people. Um, People have decided that they like engaging with you, whether it's for photography or whether it's because people just add circles of photographers. But you do a lot of hanging out, um, and you're—I I, I would say—you're a pretty well-known figure in, in hangouts and in, in that kind of interaction. Do you feel a certain responsibility for uh, for that? Uh, th does fame carry with it? Uh, uh, I don't know what the word is, or how do you say it? Th does it carry some kind of responsibility uh, to to represent yourself in a certain way? Oh yes. I would say I'm 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 responsible. I'm responsible for the system, and uh, 
I'm responsible for, uh, especially I think for German people who are following me because uh, they're a little bit shy for um, for doing hangouts. You know, there's a, a language barrier. Uh, most of the time people are talking in English and uh, there are not so many German people who are into Google+. Plus. So I started uh, a hangout, a public ha hangout, uh, with uh, topics, uh, with special topics in photography in German language and I get uh, great responses from people who want to join and uh, who want to participate and uh, uh, I'm not lacking on, on topics because I got uh, lots of emails uh, from people saying, oh, do you want to do a hangout uh, for HDR? I'm so interested in HDR. So uh, yeah, and uh, I... Uh, when I asked uh, other photographers, maybe people who have something to say, um, they they didn't they didn't say no till now. Um, and uh, this weekend we will have the third hangout, and uh, yeah, it's a great time uh, to doing these hangouts uh, and uh, seeing that uh, there's something growing. So we are, um, as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, myself and Seth Goldstein are writing a book on Google Plus for, and we decided to start with photographers uh, because it is, is such a, a popular group and following and because you guys have seem to have found a, 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 a niche where you've uh, uh, expanded very rapidly in, in this space. Um, we we intended to, we, and we're going to release it as an ebook uh, on Amazon. But we intend to release the book in multiple languages. Uh, we're going to do French, German, Italian, probably Danish, maybe Russian. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to Japanese or, or Chinese. We'll see what the market looks like. Uh, but we intend to translate into a couple of languages. Would you be interested in in we, we're going to do a bulk translation for starters, which will make it a little messy. Would you be interested in doing uh, some of the uh, sort of proofreading into German to make sure that we're uh, We're on track. It depends on how I'm involved with other projects. You know, um, uh, I know this. Uh, it, it's uh, I'm I'm writing a book by myself at the moment, so I know oh, it, cool. it takes lots of time if you want to do it in quality. But uh, right. you can contact me, and I will uh, uh, have a look at it, and uh, maybe I have some time, and I can do uh, this reading. And uh, yeah, I'm very interested in your book, and uh, thank you for inviting me for this interview. And I can. I, well, I, I have a question for you. Just, just let me ask sure. uh, this question: Do you think it's only about photography on Google Plus? Because I think uh, there's something like a boom about photography. You know, I was uh, in the top 100 uh, for a week or so uh, between uh, place 94 and 93, and now I think uh, um, I'm. I'm I'm uh, somewhere down down uh, 100 and it's it's, it's uh, because uh, this uh, yeah this this uh, VIPs and uh, this uh, uh, right. popular artists are um, are rapidly uh, going up in, in in the in the ranking and uh, I think uh, there's something like a normalization now at the moment and uh, you find uh, all the people who are very good followed on twitter or i think also on facebook um they are in the in the tops and uh, in the in the heights of google plus and i think um i think this is okay and it's normal and uh, i think it's not about competition um i cannot comp compete with uh, britney spears although i have a, a better voice and the better haircut uh -huh. Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. We, uh, Seth and I sat down uh, and we decided to go with photography as the first one uh, in that it's a fairly high profile area uh, and, and that photographers are more likely to engage in learning how to improve their craft, learning how to understand a space. I mean, they, they buy things like lenses and they'll, they'll you know, they, they're, they're constantly engaging and moving around more so than maybe some other types of industries. Uh, but our intention is to write the book and maybe the beginning of the book talking about circles and how Google Plus works being uh, more or less the same throughout the series of books, but then each individual area like real estate or academia, um, you know, Google Plus for celebrities and that sort of thing, we'll customize. Uh, we're going to do one, I think, I think we're going to do Google Plus for astronauts, uh, for Olympic athletes, 
Uh, but, you know, for the ast astronauts one, I, I actually work in deep space deep space telecommunication, so we're going to write something very specific about how to how to do and uh, how to how to use the downlink from the space station to uh, to hook up a Google Plus Hangout. Just kind of as fun. But I think uh, that you might can, actually you be can a write your no. name. You can write the name with uh, with uh, with Google Maps. You know this. There's a function right. that you you can uh, give in your name, and uh, there's uh, these uh, structures that uh, are similar, like the the letter letters of your name, and you can uh, right. copy them and use them. I saw this uh, from. I think there's a Google guy, a Google Google guy. I'm not sure if he's here. he's the photography. Uh, responsible person for Google Plus, but I saw this on him. I was very quite impressed. And uh, yeah, that's... So have you hung out with uh, some, some guys from Google yet? No, no, I haven't. But um, I'm interested in it. I'm interested in it. Uh, let me, let me tell, tell you why. Because I want to say thank you. Maybe somebody's listening now. I want to say thank you. So I will, uh, when, next time I... Um... Yeah, you're gonna hang out with one of those guys. I'll 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 send you an invite and see if we can get you in there to meet some of the uh, the Google guys. They're really uh, they're pretty interesting people, and and I've been surprised at at how engaging they've been, um, and, and reaching out and talking to people. Uh, it's it's actually it's it's pretty pretty fun. Oh, I um, I appreciate it. Uh, in in invitation, please <laughs> let me know. Write me absolutely. an email. I will, I, I will definitely time. put you on the list. Um, so tomorrow, before I forget, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, as soon as I say something like this, my, my tongue gets tied. Um, Perry Farrell from Jane's Addiction, uh, is going to be doing some hangouts. I don't know if you know the, the band Jane's Addiction from the 90s or 80s. No, I, I don't know. Okay, well, never mind. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be fun anyway. But I'm, um, I'm, I'm, uh, the, the right age, I think. 44. Um, where do you think you so where, where do you see this going? I mean, how do you see uh, this space evolving? Uh, not only for do you think at some point you'll get bored of it and say, ah, I've had enough of it. Uh, it's getting old. Uh, do you think it will continue to? Will it become a distraction for you, or will it? Do you think you'll find a place in your life that that it that it works very well for for what you do? I think there will be. Um... There will be still there, there's still some still some time to to play and uh, make experiments in how Google Plus works for me, and I think there will be something like a normalization, and uh, I don't know um, how it will work, but I'm sure I'm pretty pretty sure that I will I will share on Google Plus for a long time, and uh, it depends on how it will be developed uh, in the future. But uh, for example, I'm I'm quite active on Twitter, and uh, I think I'm on Twitter now for four years, and I'm not getting bored about this. And uh, today I quit Facebook, so there's much space and much time for Google Plus now. So it's a big day for you. You you hit number one in Germany on Google Plus, and you quit Facebook all on the same day. That's, yeah. Uh, you should mark the date down. Uh, yeah, I think November I 19th. think lots of people will follow. And I hope I, I will be informed about them when they quit Facebook. You know, this Facebook is a total institution. You know, total in institution. You must read uh, Irvin Goffman. Uh, he is a famous uh, sociologist. Oh, this is a hard word for me. And uh, he talked about total in institution. And uh, he uh, said that uh, systems, they are very closed, you know. Yeah. And don't have connections to the outside. They are very ill. It's like uh, a mental hospital. And uh, he do uh, very much uh, or some some researches on on mental hospitals. I don't know. I think it was uh, when when I was very young. He's very old, and um, especially uh, yeah, mental hostels and uh, hospitals and uh, 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 the military. And there are very there are many signs. Uh, uh, on how you can recognize this closed system, and it's best for you not to stay so much time in these closed systems. And uh, I think Google Plus knows this, and they were kept open, and it's easy to share content from outside, and it's very easy to share content from Google Plus to the outside. And uh, I'm pretty sure we stay long and will share because. I'm the sharing guy. <laughs> I like sharing. 
Have you have you had any unpleasant experiences in Google Plus? And if so, how did how did you or other people deal with those experiences? Oh yes, I uh, one day I uh, I was in a hangout and uh, there were three guys and uh, a drunk girl or woman. I, I think she was she was young, and uh, they tried to get their turn out uh, pull out their clothes, and yeah. uh, she was very drunk. And I stayed there for a short time, and then I go out. Um, yeah, this was uh, this was a bad experience, but I stopped uh, following them and put them out of my circle. So I think this won't happen again. But I think maybe it's a little bit normal that people are trying to to search for borders and uh, looking where the edge is. In general, do you uh, do you like the platform? I mean, do you like the space? I mean, you, you quit Facebook, so obviously you've made some form of commitment to it. Are you are you enthusiastic about this space? Yes, um, I think it's very clean, and this is important for photography. You know, photography has it, its own language, and uh, good photos don't need distractions. And uh, I think. Um, it's like a clean, clean website or my personal website. I kept kept it very simple because I think my photos are working by themselves, and uh, I think less is more. And uh, at the moment, um, I think it's a very, very good interface, and it's very, it's easy working. And uh, I think the integration of uh, photos. Is, is is the best I, I, I know and uh, especially if you're sharing not only photos but also other content so yeah it's uh it's are you, are you satisfied with the level of, of quality of, of the uh, imagery that you can display for photos in this space is it, is it sufficient for um, you know like in, in the stream or in the uh, I guess this hooks into Picasso and some other things are, are you satisfied with the quality It depends on on what you what you want on on social media. You know, um, in the first place, I want to see great photos, and it's very easy to find great photos. And uh, there are some uh, some possibilities to uh, find great photos. Though this is uh, there's this uh, top twenty top twenty of the month. Uh, I, I haven't had uh, the link now, but it's very easy to find it because you find it on Google Plus, and uh, I, I might, uh, I, I, I think I, I, this is a good starting point to find good photographers outside uh, who are sharing photos uh, into Google Plus. But I think it's also very easy to share photos you 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 found outside of Google Plus, and uh, yeah, I like sharing these photos too because. Um, I like this openness. So, do you have any uh, do you have any any criticisms for the space that you've seen so far? Um, anything that you dislike about the space? No. No, I haven't. Um, what would you improve if there were if there was something that you could or some things that you could improve on? What, what do you think uh, for, as a photographer? And on behalf of other photographers and or Germans, uh, being that you're a spokesman for all three, uh, uh, what do you, th how do you, how do you feel like, uh, what, do, what do you think can be done to improve the space? I think, I think that it's it would be good if there are easier solutions to send in different languages. Uh, it would be a good um, thing if you can choose the languages uh, you understand and you are able to communicate in and it would be good to choose uh, in which language I'm sending at the moment I have to do circles and uh, it's very hard uh, uh, to find uh, all the followers uh, in my public stream to differentiate differentiate uh, them in which language they understand. I have lots of German followers, of course, and uh, I'm a German, and uh, I have lots of English-speaking followers, 
And it would be great if there would be a possibility to say, oh, I want to send all the people now, this in public, who speak I mean, given, German. Given, that's an interesting point. Given that this is an international space, would it be helpful if, if you could list the languages that you're familiar with or speak or would like to communicate in, in your profile? Would that be helpful? That would be helpful, indeed, yes. Interesting. Well, make that, we can make that suggestion. Maybe maybe they'll, uh, uh, maybe they'll do that. Because I, I, I would be interested in meeting people that, that speak some of the languages that I need a little practice in. Um, so oh, as, oh as this, is, oh, this is uh, one of the main points. I love this, this Hangouts. You know, um, I think till, till one year ago, I was only sending in, in German language and I start sending uh, in English language uh, for the international public. Uh, I think about one year ago, and I start this uh, on my my own personal blog. You can find this on olafbartke.de. Uh, yeah, or, or, or look at my uh, Google Plus profile, and uh, uh, I I use this Hangouts to to train my English speaking and. Uh, you know, it's very hard for German uh, to uh, to send in this depth. You would be able sending in German language. You know, my German my German hangouts are are deeper. They are deeper in language, and uh, I think this is also great uh, for learning different language. So I say I say, come in my German hangouts and try speaking German. Has your uh, has your English improved uh, since you started doing hangouts? My wife would say no, but I think <laughs> but I think it improves um, it improves uh, speaking a little bit more fluently. But um, I uh, I uh, I hit Google Plus in a good time. So uh, when I when I hit Google Plus uh, with uh, with uh, more time, I uh, I started uh, in uh, some some somewhere in the beginning, but I I would be uh, very um, active uh, after a trip to Scotland. I've been in Scotland taking photos there, and uh, so I was used. Uh, yeah, I I was more used to talking Scottish, but uh, um, yeah, so it was a good time for me to go on, and uh, yeah, I enjoy. But I think you know. Language, uh, especially for my for my uh, German listeners, uh, there are, I think there's no folk uh, um, outside in the world that is uh, so intolerant um, about people who try to speak English than the Germans, you know. And this makes it very hard for them to go and hang out. And I think. You, you English-speaking people, you are very tolerant, and there are lots of people who are not uh, uh, English-speaking in mother tongue. You, and uh, they are more tol even more tolerant <laughs> than English-speaking natives. So, I think there's nothing to be ashamed about communication. So, did you start in uh, in in July, uh, mid July, or end of July in, in Google Plus, or when when did you first start using Google Plus? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think uh, I'm now very active uh, for, for for five weeks or so. Okay. I think one week before it becomes public. So, Merkel is the is the prime minister in in Germany. If I'm correct, and and so you're the you're the prime minister of Google Plus in Germany. How does that feel? <laughs> yeah, great responsibility. But I think uh, I have the right uh, political view. We we call it we call it a chancellor. Ah, uh, chancellor. I apologize. Yeah. Thank you for the correction. It's a chancellor. <laughs> so uh, that's uh, it's brilliant. Um, are you? Uh, do you see the space doing anything uh, special? I mean, I know you know we have personal fulfillment in. Um, in social media and we can make connections. You mentioned that and you said that's a very important piece that you were able to learn some things on here that were valuable. Um, do you think the space has the ability to change uh, maybe some things that are more profound or do you think that the space is, is going to remain fairly shallow in its in its application? Of, I mean, when, when we talk to one another, we get to know one another, it changes our perception about 
maybe your perception about Americans, maybe my perception about Germans, et cetera, et cetera. Um, do you think that's uh, that, that there's some some things, some benefits that we'll see from this as as time goes on? Oh, this is a tough question. Um, I think uh, social media will change the world, and it will change uh, the way we're able to to market ourselves. And uh, you know, I uh, I have lots of connections to to the to the old print media, and uh, there are very very bad things going on, especially for photographers. There are less fees that are sold, and uh, there's so much profit at the moment uh, that is made in 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 these old uh, print media houses. Not on selling prints, but uh, on their online presentations. They are earning. I think this year they they it's the first time uh, they made. Uh, one of the most uh, it was one of the most successful years for uh, two German newspapers I was told from my uh, photography agency and uh, it's very hard to make a, make a living out of uh, journalism and uh, selling your photos to to media and I think there, there will be a new way to sell to sell and self market yourself and uh, I think this is the beginning, and it's the beginning to uh, to make your content public. And I think if your content is good, you will you will soon know it if you go on the public. And uh, it's not about social media in a way; it's about digital media, and uh, it's about how this media can be can be sent and received and uh, yeah I'm I'm very very keen in knowing how this will go on because uh, I think I will be able to sell my my stuff by myself soon in the future I mean would you be interested in syndicating your work uh, around the world to magazines or newspapers or making it available uh, through this space to make connections to publishers no I think I think I will. I'm more the guy who's selling, selling by themselves, by themselves, by his, by himself. I think I, uh, I prefer marketplaces, and I think this is the future for photographers. You see, there are so many different ways to to make a living out of photography. Uh, C. Trey Redcliffe. He's a uh, he's the guy, I think, who is. Uh, who is uh, yeah, who is something like a role model? But I think it's not the only way. Like uh, Trey is uh, selling his stuff. There are different ways, and uh, I'm very keen and interested in how we will fit 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 in this uh, in these ways to make a profit out of uh, what we are doing. And I think we are at the beginning. And uh, social are media you, uh, will be a, 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 um, a very, very um, important uh, thing in your personal career. Why do you think photographers have been so successful in this space in, in attaining followers? And, 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 it's, and it, it is a way of, of measuring uh, success. Or it's, you know, we all say it's not a popularity contest, but at the same time, um, it, it says something about what you're doing when you when you have when you're able to gather followers. I mean, in, in some respect, not not in every respect, but what do you what do you think it says about photography that that so many people have engaged not only you but 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 a long list of photographers? I think I I've explained it earlier. You know, um, before Google Plus, there were these photo sharing communities. They are very close system, and uh, they are working with special rules and. Um, they're very close to the outside and uh, they are only for photographers or people who want to call themselves as a photographer and then there were these uh, closed system like Facebook or t uh, Twitter as an open system Twitter haven't worked for photographers because it has not had uh, a good visual layer and uh, Facebook uh, has 
a visual layer, but it's a very close system and uh, you're not easily uh, get access to uh, lots of people and uh, it's not easy to find good content. And you know, there was something like a vacuum. I think the, the people are very disappointed with these old systems. I, uh, I get uh, great responses today when I said I quit Facebook <laughs> and uh, I haven't I haven't uh, uh, I haven't had a look at uh, my uh, Facebook post. I would ask my wife later <laughs> what's standing there. But um, I think people people very fast recognize that uh, this is a great place for photography because it has a very good visual layer and it, uh, ve it's very open. It's very easy to find good content and it's very easy to make good contacts. And I think this is the reason why so many photographers are, are keen in going to Google+. Plus. But I think there will be a normalization. I think photographers are, uh, are suffering for a long time with uh, wrong systems. Do you think this will help photographers and, and, the, and the, uh, the art of photography and the, and the uh, hobby of photography in general? Do you think this will be a, a boom to, to your industry? I think, I think um, the photography boom is uh, still uh, developing and it's increasing. And uh, I think Google Plus will not be the only reason why uh, photography is so popular. For example, uh, f six weeks ago, I was in Scotland in a, in a very quiet beach on, uh, on the Outer Hebrides. And I've been there in 2000, 2006 and there was nobody and I could take photos by myself. And uh, this year <laughs> I was surprised about, uh, I think, 14 photographers with tripods and <laughs> cameras and filters. And I think it was not the only place where I found very, very oh, many, many photographers. But... Um, I think we are we are in a digital photography revolution and the people enjoy being creative and this is the great thing about digital photography there are so many possibilities to develop creativity and uh, building up vision and sharing photos would you like to uh, come out to California and tour the Google Plex if you have a chance Maybe, maybe. Anything that you'd like to, to add to, to what we've talked about or any questions that you have for me? No, but uh, please uh, call me if you have uh, another conversation, especially no, in I terms of we'll your book. Have, we will probably have some follow-up conversations and some questions that I missed. Obviously, uh, I didn't uh, prepare anything. And my recording device didn't work, so I hope you were able to capture this. Otherwise, we're in, in deep trouble. My uh, my uh, black dot is uh, is beeping, so I think uh, we are quite right. Well, thank you for your time, Chancellor. Um, you don't mind if I call you Chancellor now, since you're on top of the list. <laughs> That's wonderful. What a great day for you. Uh, you got interviewed for a book, um, quit Facebook, and you're on the top of the list in Germany. I hope the success for you continues. I hope it uh, brings you many great pleasures in the future. And um, thank you very much for your time.